In this demonstration, we'll show ribbon fusion splicing utilizing the S122M12 ribbon fusion splicer. The S122M12 is the only handheld ribbon fusion splicer in the industry. The M112 can splice anything from a single fiber to a 12 fiber ribbon. The first step in the process is to take the protection sleeve and slide it over the ribbon. Next, insert the 12 ribbon fiber in the fiber holder. Ribbon splicing requires a thermal stripper to remove the matrix and protective coatings on the 12 fibers. To begin, the fiber holder is loaded into the oven. Close the lid and wait for the green light to go solid. Then pulling the rear handle of the stripper, strip the fibers. Then you'll see that all fibers are stripped and the coatings have been removed. Next, remove the fiber holder and then clean all of the fibers, which is a very important step. As you wipe the fibers with the alcohol saturated wipe, you will hear the fibers begin to squeak. This indicates that all of the residue is removed from all the fibers. You can then with your finger flip the fibers gently to make sure that none are sticking together. Next, take the holder and drop it into the S325 single action cleaver. Next, close the lid and then push the button, perfectly cleaving all fibers simultaneously. The remaining fiber scraps are pushed into the waste bin at the left end of the cleaver. Now remove the holder and place it into the S122M12 fusion splicer. At this point we will want to check and make sure that all 12 fibers are lying correctly in the V-groove. During splicing, an arc discharge will occur between the two electrodes that you see in the center of the picture, which will fusion splice all 12 fibers. Now for the other ribbon fiber, place it in the holder, and then place the holder in the thermal stripper. Once again, wait for the green light to go solid. Now separate the stripper body, stripping all 12 fibers. Clean the fibers with the alcohol saturated white. And once again, as you wipe the fibers, you will begin to hear them squeak, indicating that all residue is now removed. Flick the fibers just to make sure that none are sticking together. Then load the holder into the S325 one action cleaver. Next close the lid and then push the button, perfectly cleaving all fibers simultaneously. Now remove the fiber holder and place it into the splicing chamber of the M112. Again, making sure that all fibers are lying correctly in the V-groove. At this point close the lid and cameras inside the fusion splicer will show all 12 fibers and their alignment at the beginning of the process. The display also shows battery life, date and time, and the type of fiber that's being spliced. After pressing the green button, the fibers will begin to move together for initial alignment. Then you will hear a vibrating sound, which is a unique Fitel feature, which serves to more precisionly align the fibers. This is followed by pre-spliced data of all 12 fibers, including access, offset, gap, and cleave angles. In this case, all fibers have excellent readings. Pressing the green button once again initiates the arc discharge. The unit utilizes real-time arc control for precision splicing of all 12 fibers. This provides not only repeatability, but assures lowest possible loss. In the next screen, you'll see the results of the fusion splicing of all 12 fibers. Loss values range from 0 0.01 dB to 0 0.03 dB. Next, open the cover to the S122M12. Then open the fiber holders to remove the completed splice. Next, center the protective sleeve over the splice. Then center the splice and the protective sleeve in the middle of the oven as shown. Close the oven, then push the yellow button to begin the heat shrinking process. At the conclusion of the process, 
Remove the ribbon fiber from the oven and you will see that the protective heat shrink sleeve is now permanently attached to the ribbon fiber. Now completing the process.